Hello you lovely people and welcome. In this video I'll be doing a landing and shutdown demo in the DC Designs F4 Phantom. So I'm just going to bring the aircraft in to RF Coningsby's circuit height of a thousand feet uh, doing around about 300 knots. And when I get around about halfway down the runway I will brake into the left hand turn keeping the altitude and bleeding speed off uh, to below 250 knots to get the gear and flaps down. Breaking into the circuit now, bleeding the speed off and getting it below 250 knots, gear down, flaps down and now we are going to trim out. This is the linchpin of the manoeuvre, you must trim nose up as much as you possibly can until you get the yellow circles in the angle of attack indicator either side of the uh, gun sight. Once you have this trimmed out, um, you will be very light on the stick. And if you're coming in on a an ILS approach or something of that nature, you'll find that um, you can take your hands off of the stick and it will. Um, it will just settle itself unless there's uh, external factors at play. Now, the reason for this uh, being is that you don't need to use the stick at all uh, to move in the pitch, either way in pitch, up or down. Uh, everything is done via throttle. Uh, once those yellow circles are up on the angle of attack indicator, um, it's all engine control. Uh, there is no need to touch the um, control column whatsoever. Another thing to add is to not let the aircraft drop below 150 knots otherwise you will drop like a stone. Um, anywhere between 150 and 170 knots depending on all up weight uh, is good for the approach and um, as you can probably see uh, a minute ago I was just on the verge of 150 knots and the stall warning was coming into place so I had to apply a little bit of power. Now the aircraft has trimmed out perfectly uh, it's all a matter of uh, throttle control to bring it in uh, for a nice soft landing. i am obviously got a side wind um, here so I'm using the control column and rudders to keep the aircraft in line. You may need to go into the uh, landing position um, to uh, bring it in on the approach as it's a bit of a bum to see over the nose um, if you're not using a head tracker um, and there we are we're just slowing the aircraft down now uh, and uh, we're going to take it in park it up and shut it down Just going to put the nozzle steering into high gain as I like a little bit of extra control when I'm manoeuvring on the ground. Landing lights off and taxi light on. Open the canopy up.
So we're going to park it up just here. And now we can shut down. So shut off the right fuel cock. Hide the throttle. And shut off the left fuel cock. Bring the throttle back on. And now we can shut off some of the electrical systems. So switch off the angle of attack indicator. Nav radio. And we will switch off the... Uh, we'll put the ladder down and switch off the uh, radar scope so we'll put that all the way to BST make sure the range is all the way down uh, switch off the generators left and right and then switch off the battery thank you for watching and as always take care and I'll catch you in the next one